Harry Libby was born George Henry Stevens Libby on the 26th of September 1896. He died on the 10th of October 1964. The street Libby Way is named after renowned Mumbles character Harry Libby, who was born in Mumbles in 1896 and lived in the South End area of Mumbles. Harry was the councillor for Mumbles and he later became Mayor of Swansea. A veteran of World War I, he was instrumental in setting up the Mumbles United Fund when World War II broke out. He decided to write monthly letters to each of the Mumbles people serving with HM forces. He formed a committee known as the Mumbles Correspondence Committee, which included the vicar, Canon Wilkinson, George Ace, Mrs. Heron and Mr. A. Stacy. The aim was to let the lads and lasses know that Mumbles had not forgotten them, to give them some local news and to keep them informed with news of their pals. It was intended to continue the communications throughout the duration of the war, a task they fulfilled until the armistice in 1945. The majority of the letters were written by Councillor Harry Libby. This photograph shows Harry Libby's premises in the Duns, a wartime centre where information about those serving away was gathered and shared. By October 1939, 140 letters were dispatched, increasing by the following month to 600, and by October 1943, they sent 1,200. This report shows what the Mumbles Comfort Fund had achieved between 1939 and 1945. When the service personnel returned home from war, they were presented with a token of appreciation from the Mumbles United Welcome Home Committee. In January 1957, Harry Libby and a small group made their way to the Mixon Sands. Mixon is a dangerous sandbank which lies just off the coast at Bracelet Bay and is marked with the large red Mixon Bell. On this rare occasion, the bank was visible, and to mark the occasion, a small group consisting of Derek Scott, coxswain of the lifeboat, and his father, Les Gwyn John, assistant secretary of the lifeboat committee and his wife, Stanley Poulton, HM Coast Guard, Tom Wright, Jack Gammon, lifeboat mechanic, Mumble's own Harry Libby, mayor of Swansea in that year, and evening post photographer, Harry Hinnom, planned to hold a tea party on the Mixon Sands. They set off in two small boats from the Mumbles Pier, armed with a folding table, two stools and a thermos flask of tea, some cups and a few sandwiches. Finding the bank was exposed, they set up the table and chairs and enjoyed their tea and sandwiches before the tide soon turned and they had to re-embark for home. Harry Hinnom was the last to leave, enabling him to capture his companions on film to gain the distinction of being the first newspaper photographer to operate a camera on the Mixon. Harry was also an author and in 1963 published a book, The Mixture, The Mumbles and Harry Libby.